After days of waiting for answers, family members confirm a Kentucky native and her husband are among those killed in Tuesday's terror attacks in Belgium. Stephanie and Justin Schultz were last seen saying goodbye to Stephanie's mom at the Brussels airport. Hillary Thornton talked to Stephanie's aunt in tonight's top story. Thinking that it would be a couple of hours and we would know that Steph and Justin were okay or we would at least know what hospital they were in. Those hours following the terrorist attack at the Brussels airport then turning into days without answers for the family and friends of Stephanie and Justin Schultz. The couple was saying goodbye to Stephanie's mother at the airport who was visiting from here in Lexington. If they had been later to the airport, if they had gone earlier, my sister would have already been through security and Stephanie and Justin would have already been back to their car. But you can't do what ifs. Choosing instead to now focus on the good memories after confirmation of their worst fear, the Transylvania University grad and her husband losing their lives in the attack. She never had an, a, an opinion, a negative opinion of anyone, and she was a peacemaker. If, if family or friends were upset with each other, she was the one trying to make peace. And so she's the kind of person that you wish everyone was. Um, just like that and Justin was so protective of her because she was such a tender heart that you had to protect her a little bit. Well it was not the outcome they had hoped for they are glad to now have some answers coming just hours after Newsom says she said her prayer and had a conversation with her mother Stephanie's grandmother who died 16 years ago. Come on mom we need some help here you know do your thing. And it's hard to say now, but it also helps that mom now is holding Stephanie and Justin, and I'm sure his family has people that are holding them as well. Newsom says her sister remained extremely close with Stephanie, even though she was an ocean away. She says they either talked on the phone or messaged back and forth each day.